This is our 66 Ford Mustang GT Fastback. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Uh, following that, I will do a second walk around where I will show close ups of each of the cosmetic blemishes. And then there will be some shots of the interior under the hood as well as some running and driving clips. So this car is originally a A code 289. Um, it now has a 302 in it. Uh, you will see in the listing on chicagocarclub.com that there is a very thorough uh, service history. This car has receipts going back to the mid 80s. Um, it has uh, undergone a couple different iterations. Uh, in 87, the 289 was pulled out in favor of a 302. And then a few years later, in 1993, the owner at the time out in Seattle uh, purchased a fully built uh, 302 from a company in Portland, Oregon and had that installed. Uh, so the car still retains that same 302 installed in 1993, has about 20,000 miles on the motor, uh, 88,000 miles on the chassis, and about 30,000 miles on the transmission. So a fairly low mileage package. So you'll see the close-ups of the blemishes later on in the video, but there are very, very few. Um, super, super clean car. The glass and light lenses are all clear and crack-free. The chrome is all free of oxidation or damage. The car was originally silver frost metallic. Uh, it now is a light blue metallic. Still retains the uh, the same black vinyl interior. The paint was clearly done to a high standard. Uh, very, very much presentable. Just very, very minor blemishes. Uh, weather stripping was all replaced about 10 years ago, and the car has been you know dry storage since then. Uh, used in the summers and looks very, very good. The Magnum 500 polished wheels were installed in the early 90s, uh, and they show no oxidation or signs of damage, no curb rash, nothing like that. The car runs and drives, awesome. Uh, truly very, very well sorted car. Known service history, been in the uh, northwestern portion of the country its whole life, stayed nice and dry. It has 315 gears, so kind of highway geared. Um, it's most at home, bouncing between third and fourth gear at higher speeds. It's certainly still usable around the city, but it's it's best for you know higher speed cruising. Great car if you've got some open roads. So here are the blemishes on the car. There are in the middle of the passenger door couple very small chips. You can see them there on the midline. They are not dings, they are chips. It's the most major one no, in comparison to my fingertip. See a couple more chips there along the rocker panel. Very clean car, you know, just these typical, you know, chips and general signs of wear from a car that's, you know, been driven. So there are a couple little tiny bubbles on the car. You can see them there. The back flat face by the trunk lid. Certainly don't appear to be rust, more of a blemish underneath the paint. See a couple chips on the driver rear wheel hub. Nice clean rocker panel. And work our way around to the front. Again, just showing no oxidation around there. And we so often see the front trim pieces all scratched up. This car is not. The fog lights were replaced about 10 years ago. Interior is, again, one of the highlights of the car. Uh, no kicked open markings in the door panels or anything like that. No cracks in the, cracks in the dash pad. Carpet's in nice shape, comes with the correct floor mats as well. The radio is functional, uh, the fan and heat are functional as well. Very little for signs of age on the dash. Car's got the rally gauges, which are a great look. 88,000 the odometer, as I mentioned earlier, is correct chassis mileage, not engine. Very little for signs of wear in the interior. 
black vinyl seats are free of any burst seams or scuffs or any significant damage. See a closer look at the seat bottom there. Very nice black vinyl. An aftermarket gas pedal, kind of staggered for heel toe. That rear seat does fold down, but it's in very nice shape. us. <laughs> 